Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just designed this 3D pattern that might be the most useful one I've ever designed. You could use it in a lot of aspects for getting a, and the and the pictures really do it no justice. I mean, you can see the slopes of the individual parts, and and part of the I sanded this off, and I didn't sand all of it very good, I guess, but it really made it pop. And even if you're never planning on using a 3D file, this little video might help you design other things. So we're going to get rid of these pictures so they won't bog down my corral. And this is a really easy, uh, and it's kind of neat. So get your ellipse tool and hold down your control button. Doesn't matter what size you make it. Click on it. And control D and make a duplicate. Hold down your control key. And now these are basically touching. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Get your rectangle tool. And go to where it says quadrant. To quadrant. To quadrant again. Well, I'm off. Let me start over. Go down to the bottom quadrant. Maybe you can just go quadrant to quad quadrant here. There we go. So that's what we're doing is we're drawing symmetrically. Now select it all and weld it. Now you've got this shape. Control D and make a duplicate and rotate the duplicate 90 degrees. Grab this one and control D and make a duplicate. Holding down your control button. And making this now grabbing this one and grabbing the inside of the X and get to you get to that node then take your smart fill tool and fill that shape in that's the shape we need we drew all that just for that shape I'll go ahead and keep those up for a minute on the board and here's a little insight if you're gonna do this uh, make this smaller so we're going to rotate this 270 degrees. It doesn't matter which way you go, but I like it in this direction. Now, we need to make this smaller. Let's make it uh, one inch. And it made it one inch. I had my ratio locked, so they're both one inch. And the one inch is going to help you. You need to make it small, because when we 3D it. So I'm going to take... I left click no fill. I'm going to right click 10% black. You can barely see it. Now I'm going to go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour to the inside with black 0 0.001. Now we've made our shape. Now remember our shape is one inch. So we're going to change our nudge distance to one inch. And we're going to control D and make a duplicate and move it down. Control D and make a duplicate. We'll do it one more time. And you can make as many of those as you want. Now here's the point about it being symmetrical. Let's change our nudge distance now to a half of an inch. Control D and move it to the right and up. And now they're in place. Now you can grab it again and control D. Now this time we need to click it twice to move it over. And then all you have to do is just control D to your heart's content. And we're going to leave it like that for enough, but you can make it as big as you want it. Now we're going to select everything, go to range, and group it. And this time we're going to put it inside of a circle. I put it inside of a, 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 a lip a while ago, but you see you got plenty of room. This is grouped together, so we're going to go up to Effects. No, we're going to go to Range, sorry. Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. And, and that fast, it put it inside of a frame. And then you could left click so it will have no hairline. Now, before you engrave this, one of the most important things you could do, first of all, I'd make it small. Let's make it two inches. I've got my ratio locked. Because you want to test this, because this you're going to run this on like 15 speed, 100 power, 
at 400 dots per inch and it's going to take some time and that's on my 60 watt laser so before you do anything before you run it go to bitmaps convert to bitmaps and turn it into a grayscale and see the time it's taking to do that it's a good thing to have it small but I ran it at um, 15 power 100 speed and, uh, and under 3D engraving under advanced on Apollo's um, print driver. And then I ran it again at 50 power or 100 power, 50 speed at 600 dots per inch. And you saw the pictures already, so that's what you're going to get. This is a pretty easy and pretty cool design because there's a lot of things you could do with this after that. You know, you could put somebody's initials in here. And then the initials would just pop out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.